Hey everyone, and welcome back to another deep dive. You know, uh, I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, today we're diving into Christmas traditions from around the world. Oh, wow. And uh, to help us explore all the different ways people celebrate, we're going to be looking at this fun YouTube video Okay. from Juva Kids' Wonderful Adventures called The ABCs of Christmas. Sounds great. Yeah. So um, are you ready to get festive? Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Awesome. So this video is really cool because it goes through the alphabet, highlighting different Christmas traditions from all over the globe. And, um, you know, we'll learn about things like caroling in Bangladesh. Wow. Kissing under the mistletoe in England, oh. making homemade gifts in Botswana. Mm. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how Christmas, a holiday with, you know, pretty specific origins, has become this global celebration. Yeah, definitely. And it just goes to show you how traditions can evolve and spread. Mm -hmm. And how... Even though we might celebrate in different ways, yeah. you know, there are these core values like joy and giving and togetherness that seem to be pretty universal. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so the video kicks off with A is for Advent, which is that period of anticipation leading up to Christmas. Right. But did you know that the word Advent itself actually comes from the Latin word for coming? You know, I did not know that. Yeah. So it's all about the coming of I'm, Christ. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then those four Advent candles you often see... Um, each one actually represents a week leading up to Christmas. Oh. And lighting them symbolizes that growing light as we approach the big day. It's beautiful how something so simple can be so meaningful. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to B is for bows and Botswana. Okay. So the video highlights, you know, both the decorative aspect of bows, which are everywhere during Christmas, but also focuses on this heartwarming tradition of making homemade gifts. Oh. And speaking of homemade gifts. Hmm. Botswana in Africa has a strong tradition of giving personalized, handcrafted presents for Christmas. Really? Yeah. That's so special. I know. Yeah. It's really cool. It makes you think about, you know, the mass-produced presents we often see. Hmm. And it just makes them seem a bit impersonal. Yeah, definitely. All right. C is for caroling. And this one's really cool. The video features caroling in Bangladesh. Oh, wow. I never would have thought of that. I know, right? Uh. It just shows how diverse Christmas celebrations can be. Mm -hmm. So in Bangladesh, they have this unique style of caroling called curtain. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very different from the carols we might be used to. It starts really slow, and then it gradually builds up to this fast tempo with everyone singing and dancing. It sounds so lively and energetic. I know, I'd love to see that in person. Me too. Okay, next up we have D is for dancing. And let's be honest, dancing is a key element of celebrations everywhere oh absolutely especially during the holidays yeah from those ancient solstice celebrations to modern day parties dance has always been a way for people to express joy and connect with each other and just let loose right it's like a universal language of celebration i love that all right f is for fruitcake and feasting oh here we go i know i know fruitcake gets a bad rap it does but but the video actually features panettone which is a type of fruitcake that's yeah. really popular in south america interesting yeah and speaking of feasting Many Latin American countries have these Buena Noche celebrations on Christmas Eve. I've heard of that. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just a specific event. It's like a term for the whole festive evening with special meals, music, and even piñatas. Wow. Piñatas at Christmas. That's awesome. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have G is for gifts and giving. We already talked about Botswana's homemade gifts, but gift giving is pretty much a universal part of Christmas, wouldn't you say? Yeah, for sure. And it's actually believed that gift giving stems from those ancient traditions of exchanging presents during winter solstice festivals. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating to think that something that started thousands of years ago is still so central to how we celebrate today. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. And I think it speaks to that human need to connect and show appreciation, especially during these darker, colder months. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, are you ready for a little musical interlude? Oh, I love these. J is for Jingle Bells. It's a classic. It is. I bet you can already hear those Juva kids belting it out. Oh, for sure. K is for Kissing Under the Mistletoe. Now, this tradition has its roots in ancient mythology, but it really gained popularity after the publication of A Christmas Carol. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's amazing how a piece of literature can have such a lasting impact on our culture. Yeah. All right. Moving on to L is for Luck and Nutcrackers. Mm, okay. So you know those charming nutcracker figures? Oh, yeah. Well, they became popular in 17th century Germany, mm -hmm. and they were believed to bring good fortune and ward off evil spirits. I love that. 
Yeah, it's interesting how objects can take on that kind of symbolic meaning, you know, becoming mm -hmm. imbued with beliefs and superstitions that are passed down through generations. Yeah, definitely. Okay, O is for ornaments, which are pretty <laughs> much a universal way to personalize Christmas trees. Right. Yeah, from those sparkling baubles to handmade creations, ornaments are like little windows into people's lives and memories. Yeah, you're right. They can be family heirlooms or symbols of special moments or even just quirky reflections of someone's personality. It's really cool to see how different cultures express themselves through their ornaments. It is. Okay, next up, we're heading back to Latin America for P is for piñata. Oh, okay. Remember those Buena Noche celebrations we talked about? Yeah. Well, piñatas are a central part of the fun. Oh, I love piñata. And they're not just about candy and fun. Really? The piñata actually has roots in ancient Aztec rituals. Wow. Yeah, and it yeah. symbolizes abundance and good fortune. Mm. So breaking it open represents releasing those blessings for everyone to share. Oh, that's beautiful. It is. It's amazing how a seemingly simple tradition can have such deep cultural significance. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's dash through the snow with R is for reindeer. The video shows that classic image of Santa's reindeer pulling his sleigh, but reindeer hold a deeper significance in many cultures, right. especially those in northern regions. Yeah, they're often associated with strength and endurance and the ability to navigate through those harsh winter conditions. In some cultures, reindeer are even seen as these magical creatures that can bridge the gap between the earthly and spiritual realms. Wow. Yeah. That's fascinating how those beliefs are woven into Christmas traditions. Yeah. And of course, no Christmas Eve is complete without S is for Santa and stockings. It's a tradition that transcends cultural boundaries with kids all over the world hanging up their stockings mm -hmm. in hopes that Santa will fill them with goodies. Yeah, it's such a classic image. But did you know that the figure of Santa Claus we know today is actually a blend of various cultural influences? Really? Yeah, he has elements of St. Nicholas and Norse mythology and all sorts of folk traditions. It's a testament to how cultures borrow and adapt from each other, you know, creating something new and universally beloved. That's so cool. I never knew that. Yeah, it's like a global collaboration project that's been going on for centuries. Yeah, yeah I love that. Okay, speaking of beloved traditions, T is for trees and treats. The video shows Christmas trees all decked out in their festive glory. Beautiful. Which is a central element of the celebration in so many cultures. And remember how we mentioned the Nutcracker having German origins? Yeah. Well, the Christmas tree tradition is believed to have started in Germany too. Really? Yeah, back in the 16th century. But its roots actually go back even further to those ancient pagan celebrations of evergreen trees during the winter solstice. Wow, so Christmas trees have both pagan and Christian origins. Exactly. That's incredible. It's like this single tradition embodies the evolution of beliefs and cultural practices over centuries. Yeah, it really is. And then think about how the meaning of the evergreen tree itself has transformed over time. Yeah. For ancient peoples, it symbolized everlasting life and resilience and the enduring power of nature. But later it was adopted by Christians and became a symbol of hope, everlasting life through Christ and the triumph of light over darkness. It's amazing how one symbol can hold so many different layers of meaning. Yeah, it really is. And it makes you wonder how the Christmas tree will continue to evolve and be reinterpreted by future generations. That's a good question. Okay, and speaking of different cultures, the video also shows us the yummy treats associated with Christmas, including chocolate bombs and fluffy marshmallows. Ooh, those sound delicious. They do. But, you know, beyond the sweetness, Food plays such a significant role in Christmas celebrations worldwide. It does. Yeah, every culture has its own special treats that add to the festive atmosphere and create lasting memories. And food has a way of bringing people together. It does. Yeah. It's a universal language of love and hospitality and celebration. Absolutely. Okay, bundle up because W is for Winter Wonderland. Mm -hmm. The video captures those magical snowy scenes that are synonymous with Christmas in many parts of the world. But beyond the pretty imagery, winter itself holds a deep significance in many cultures, mm. especially around the time of the winter solstice. Right. The winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, has long been a time of celebration and renewal across cultures. It marks that turning point when the days begin to grow longer, symbolizing the return of light and warmth. It's no wonder that so many winter celebrations, including Christmas, share these themes of hope, joy, and new beginnings. Right? It's like we all collectively breathe a sigh of relief as we turn the corner towards brighter days, both literally and metaphorically. I love that. Okay. And speaking of turning corners, X is for Xmas. 
Xmas. Yeah, ever wondered where that abbreviation comes from? I have actually. It's actually quite ancient. Really? The X comes from the Greek letter Ki, which is the first letter of the Greek word for Christ. Oh, wow. So Xmas is simply a shorter way of writing Christmas, and it's been around for centuries. That's fascinating. It is. It's really interesting how language evolves and adapts over time. Okay, let's end this segment on a sweet note. Why is for yummy treats? Okay. Christmas is truly a time for indulging in all sorts of culinary delights, from gingerbread cookies to elaborate feasts. Mm -hmm. Every culture has its own special Christmas treats that have been passed down through generations. Yeah. You know, reflecting their unique history and traditions. And it's not just about the food itself. It's about the memories and emotions associated with those flavors. That's so true. Yeah. The smell of gingerbread baking in the oven or the taste of your grandmother's special Christmas cake. These are the things that make Christmas so special. Absolutely. They trigger those warm, fuzzy feelings that we all associate with the holidays. Yeah. And finally, Z is for Zoom. The video shows Santa zooming through the sky in his sleigh, which perfectly captures the excitement and anticipation of Christmas Eve. Uh, but it also makes you think about that magic of believing in something beyond the ordinary. Right. Yeah. It's that sense of wonder and possibility that makes Christmas so enchanting, especially for children. Mm. But even as adults, I think we can all benefit from embracing that childlike spirit, you know, believing in something bigger than ourselves. Well said. So there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the alphabet, exploring Christmas traditions from around the world. But our deep dive is far from over. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll delve even deeper into the fascinating ways that different cultures celebrate this magical holiday season.